So as architects, we are constantly looking for new products that will meet the new energy codes and criteria that are constantly changing on a daily basis. My name is Mick Aller. I'm with uh, Aller, Lingle and Massey Architects in Fort Collins, Colorado. We are recently um, charged with designing an addition to a project here at Colorado State University. When I saw in so fast, um, I realized that there was an opportunity here to uh, help us meet energy codes and simplify installation. You got a crew working with you? I can, yeah. We got, we're kind of spread out right now, but it's, I can get another guy. If, if I, 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 well, one guy would glue, one guy would sack. Gotcha. Okay. So that was good. And the guy gluing would also do the staging. Start moving it down to where, you know, setting the box up, putting panels on, getting it ready to glue. Okay. It's in production. When you start in the corner, full panel in the corner there, full panel in the corner there, and then you start your offsets that, that way. So now you could have two crews working in opposite directions, keep it flowing. Okay. All right. All right. Going. Lick, stick, and go. Um, originally, when I saw the product, I thought it was mostly for um, residential basement type products. Um, but then uh, in their information it said that they do commercial too, so um, I thought that this would be a good product for a commercial application. When I first contacted Dean, he told me that they only made the product in a two inch thickness, which only gave us an R value of nine. And I said, well, I need a heavier R value. He told me that they were putting together a two and a half inch product, which I understand is the Insulfast EX. And, uh, I went ahead and spec this product based upon that information. You see how, see how the wall, wall kind of floats right here? Yeah. That's okay, because the next day the glue hardens up like a rock. When you come back, it'll be, it'll be tight. Okay. But, but let, it, let it float like that, because the glue is kind of like taffy. It'll stretch, and you, it'll plumb the wall out and level itself, and that's what you want. Okay. This will be easy to drywall then. It'll be flat. That's what we want. I needed a continuous insulation um, that we needed to mount to the inside of the load-bearing masonry wall. And uh, the ways you can handle that is either fur the wall out with metal studs or Z furring channels and put insulation in between those. The thing I liked about Insofast was that it, it's the insulation and the furring strips all in one piece. It adheres to the wall or it can be mechanically fastened to the wall. I think it's so simple anybody can do it.